What's going on guys, Simpson here, and I'm making this video today because I've seen a couple of comments in the comment section on my uh, YouTube channel asking me about my OBS settings. Uh, other people have had uh, issues streaming or recording while they're playing the trucking, uh, trucking simulator or uh, racing simulator. So uh, I'm gonna be sharing my settings that I use for uh, Streamlab OBS. I use Streamlabs OBS because I stream, uh, I multi-stream to different platforms. So I log in with my credentials, set it and forget it, change the title and I'm good to go. But the same settings you can also apply to your OBS if that is what you're using. The first thing that I'm gonna say before I share my settings is that make sure that your Nvidia or your AMD drivers are up to date. That is very crucial. There were a lot of times where I would start a stream and I'll get dropped frames or lagging and, in my stream or anything like that. Now, I, I don't know, it's just me, but I just, I always make sure that all of my software is up to date. My windows are up to date. I don't have windows 11 yet, but I don't wanna. So, but besides that, make make just make sure that your GPU drivers are up to date. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at into my Streamlab OBS settings. And uh, yeah, we can, we can go from here. So I'm gonna just drag this down. There we go. And we're gonna go into output and for the streaming, the encoder is gonna be the NVIDIA Invent H264. Now, basically what this does, it uses your GPU as the encoder that encodes the video from your PC into the platforms that you're streaming to. It doesn't put a lot of load onto your GPU card and it gives you great performance while you're playing. It does not affect your gaming performance whatsoever. So I highly suggest that you make sure that that is what you select. Now for the rate control, the CBR, and just to go back for the encoder before I forget, the same thing is available for AMD, I, I think. I don't know what the name of it is, but it would use the, the AMD. If it doesn't, then I'm wrong, but I've never really owned an AMD card, but I assume that they have something similar. If not, they will have other options that you can use while you're streaming. For the rate control, it's the CBR. For the bit rate, that's a really big one. It's 6,000. Now, the bit rate is how many megabytes per second you upload to these streaming platforms. And that really comes down to your internet connection. Most of the time, people have decent upload speed. My upload speed is about 40 megabytes per second, which equals 40,000 KBS. And so 6,000 is the number that Twitch recommends for their streaming platforms. And that is the number that I use. There are times where I would log into OBS, I would start my stream right away, and it would be at 10,000 and it would still be okay on Twitch, but 6,000 is the number that you're looking for. So mine is always set to 6,000. I get 60 FPS, I don't get any dropped frames or anything like that. So make sure that that number is, uh, is there. The key frame interval will be two, the preset will be a quality, profile is gonna be high. Uh, I have the psycho visual tuning, sorry, I can't see from my steering wheel. Psycho visual tuning will be checked off. GPU is at zero. Max B frames is at two. These are the settings that you can also apply for your OBS. Streamlabs OBS is based off of OBS, just a different flavor, but you can apply the same settings there as well. As far as the audio goes, um, for a while I was using the, the default 160 audio bit rate. I recently changed it to 192. Uh, just to see if I get better audio quality. I'm not an audiophile or anything like that, but you know, um, so far so good, no issues or anything like that with my 192 bit rate in the audio section. So that's what I use so far, but as far as the streaming goes, these are my settings. Hope this was very helpful to you guys in, in any way, shape or form. My how-to videos are very popular apparently, but not a lot of you guys are subscribed. So what can I do to change that? Let me know in the comments. Um, and if you have any questions, please drop them off in the comment section. I respond to literally every single person that comments in my comment section. And if you have any questions and you want to jump in the comment section, you can jump into my streams Monday through Friday, uh, starting around 5 p.m. Eastern time or after 5 p.m. Eastern time. You can jump in the chat uh, during the live stream and ask me questions there, either on YouTube or Twitch. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Or you can join my Discord as well, too. Uh, we have a channel there for uh, setup questions or simulator questions. You can also drop your question there and I'll get to it. But uh, yeah, if this video was helpful to you guys in any way, shape or form, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.